Hey everybody, this is Analytical Survival and this is a continuation on my homeschooling series. Today we're going to talk about the subject of numbers. Now the question always comes up, how exactly does one tackle this subject? Well, I'm sure there are a gazillion million methods out there. So what I'm about to share with you today is just one method. It's my method and it's something that I cooked up myself for the purposes of teaching my son. It all started one day when I began to think about how to logic get my son to first pronounce the numbers themselves. That was my first goal. That was all I wanted to do. I then figured out much later that I could teach my son place value as I progressed through these lessons. In other words, I first wanted to simply give my son some early victories in this very subject, the subject of numbers. And that way he could gain a good deal of confidence very early on after he knew the entire layout, after he knew all the number sequences, and more importantly, how to confidently state them on demand. Okay, first thing, I began where everyone else starts, which for most people is with numbers 1 through 20. Now that took a little time, perhaps around three to four weeks, because everything was fresh. It was all new to him, and he didn't know exactly where all this was leading to, of course. So he stayed here for a while, doing numbers 1 through 20, until he finally, finally gained some familiarity. And here's a PowerPoint file that I myself created, which helped him to visualize the numerical sequence. Hey everybody, this is Ernie, and today we're going to learn how to count from 0 to 20. Okay? Are you with me? Let's go. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Excellent. Now, after he got this down, I wanted to make sure that he knew without a doubt how to recognize each and every number, even if they were out of sequence. So, I created another PowerPoint file for this very purpose. And here it is. 15, 2, 20, 4, 14, 1, 19, 5, 10, 8, 11, 0, 17, 3, 14, 7, 12, 9, 18, 15. Yay! All right. <laughs> it did great. Now, the biggest and most crucial jump for us was moving beyond the number 20. But at the same time, it was the easiest. Now, why was it the easiest, you ask? Well, for the very fact that the numbers themselves, after that particular point, follow a predictable pattern. For example, here's my son reciting the 50s, and you'll see what I mean. All right, now we're going to take it up a notch, and we're going to try... The 50s. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60! <laughs> All right, good job. Now, once your child learns the very predictable patterns from 1 through 100, and they can do this, trust me, you just have to put in the time. Then simply test them once again how to recognize each and every number, this time out of sequence. And this was for my son, one of the greatest confidence builders. That is, once he was finally able to do this without much difficulty, it was the greatest confidence booster. And here's an example of this. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Now we are going to count all the numbers, all scrambled up, scrambled up. Here we go. 45, 45, 69, 69, 83, 83, 37, 37, 52, 52, 98, 98, 66, 66, 31, 31. 54, 54, 17, 17, 65, 65, 33. Now, guess what? 
Did you also know that the number sequence of 100 to 1,000 also follows the same predictable pattern? Of course you did. The question is, what are you waiting for? In my thinking, there's no reason that you should stop at 100, especially since the same sequential logic applies to the rest of the numbers beyond this point. So what I began to do at this point was to make lots of flashcards, lots and lots and lots of flashcards, folks. And here they are. Here are the 10s, 100s, 200s, 300s, 400s, 500s, 600s, 700s, 800s, and 900s. And yes, my son learned these as well. And why shouldn't he? Or why shouldn't your child learn them as well? Because there's no reason why they shouldn't. It all follows the same sequential logic. And so here's another video of my son working on the 100 sequence. But to make it a bit more challenging, I once again mix them all up for him. 146. Now, the question is, what do you think we did after we mastered the hundreds? You got it. We simply worked our way into the thousands. And it wasn't hard at all. In fact, this may surprise you, but it took way less time for him to learn the thousands than it took for him to learn the numbers 1 through 20. Why? Because at that time, he had already mastered the sequential logic of numbers. And here's another video of that process. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, uh, this is Bert. Uh, uh, I'm standing in for Ernie because he couldn't make it. Now, if you see over here, we're going to be counting from uh, 1,000 to 10,000. And so, uh, without further ado, uh, here we go. Excellent. 3,808. Try another one. 4,190. Very good. 4,190. How about that one? 9,744. You're doing fantastic. 9,744. How about this one here? 8,201. Very, very good. 8,201. How about that one? 6,600. You're doing fantastic. 6,600. How about that one? 8,112. You're doing great. 8,112. How about that one? 5,121. You're doing amazing. 5,121. How about this one here? 3,100. Very good. 3,100. How about this one? 8,803. Excellent. 8,803. How about this one? 1,377. 1,377. Very good. How about this one? 6,118. You're doing fantastic. 6,118. How about that one? 4,904. Excellent. 4,904. How about this one right there? 2,835. All right, that concludes this tutorial. I'll see you all in the next video, and I'm going to let my students sign us off. Okay, that's it for now. This is Analytical Survival Saints. Stay safe, my brothers and sisters! Spell me a word, you're a spelling man Spell me a word today Cause we're all in the mood for a spelling word And you got me spelling today